you called and we came. This line, which is actually the title of a poem written by Professor Laura Sarant OBE, has been reverberating in my mind as I have gone to a number of Windrush 75 celebrations, holding the tension between celebration and the ongoing injustices, like the Windrush scandal, which really should be called the Home Office scandal. And today, as I was in a Sunday service, a Windrush service, when the preacher, Richard Reddy, was preaching, once again, these words, you called and we came, came back to mind as he shared his experience of getting some quite high level, if you want to call them that way, invitation to places who wanted to celebrate the Windrush generation and yet consistently forgot to mention any of the racism or the bigotry or the ongoing injustices. And it just made me feel like I wanted to record this poem. Again, not my words, the words of Professor Laura Sarant, OBE, written in 2017, originally to reflect the contribution of black nurses, nurses to the health system, but also in her words to shine a light on the hardship, prejudices and challenges that people like her parents and I can also say my grandfather, my aunts and uncles, my parents endured in this England, which they were rightful British citizens of, as they came to this country both to rebuild it and to also seek a better future for themselves and for their generation. So here we go. You called and we came. You called and we came. In ships bigger than anything we had seen, dwarfing our islands and covering them in the shadows of smoke and noise. Crowded, excited voices fill the air, travelling to the motherland. Over weeks, over oceans that threaten to engulf us, driven by a wish, a call to save, to rebuild and support, to establish health for all in the aftermath of war. You called and we came. Women and men of position in our homeland, nurses with pride in the excellence of our care, with experience of management, organization and a sense of duty, we appeared. Smiling and eager to work on the wards, communities and clinics of this England. You called and we came. Our big hearts, skillful hands and quick minds encased in our skins of a darker hue which has shimmered and shone in our sunnier climes but now signified our difference, our unbelonging. Matrons became assistants, nurses became chambermaids, all the while striving to fulfill our promise, to succor, to serve, to care. You called and we came. The blue of the sisters' uniform seemed as far away from us as the moon, unreachable by our dark hands in this cold land, but we were made of sterner stuff. The hot sun which once beat down on our ancestors when they too left their land shone within us, forging our hearts and minds with the resistance of ebony. You called and we came, rising like the phoenix from the heat of rejection. We cared, we worked, we organised until the quickness of our minds and the excellence of our care made it hard for you to contain us. And slowly, so slowly, the blue uniforms had dark and lighter bodies within them. The professional care in our touch was valued despite the strangeness of our speech and the kinks in our hair. You called and we came. A new millennium, new hopes spread across this land, new populations engaging and reflecting the very diverse and vibrant nature of these shores, challenging and reflecting on leadership for health, moves to melt the snow at the peaks of our profession, recognising the richness of our kaleidoscope nation, 
where compassion, courage and diversity are reflected in the presence of our contribution. Not only the hopes and dreams of our ancestors, human values needed to truly lead change and add value. Remember, you called. Remember, you called. You called. Remember, it was us who came.